Hey everyone, and welcome to my Dubai Fitness Challenge workout video. My name is Taylor Walsh, and for the next 30 minutes, I'll be guiding you through a full body HIIT workout. All right, so I just wanna let you know, feel free at any point today to modify any of the exercises based on your own ability. If you need to take a break, if you wanna take some water, that's totally fine. We're in this to have fun. I want you to take it at your own pace. All right, so I'm gonna lead you through a little warm up. We're gonna get to the HIIT section. We're gonna have a little cool down and then I'll send you on your way. All right, let's get our 30 minutes in. Here we go. Our warm up starts in three, in two, and one. Let's go. Just 30 seconds, we're gonna go for some jumping jacks. All right, so in this jumping jack, all right, just sing nice and forward. Make sure you're staying on the balls of your feet. All right, so if anything, I don't want you to fall backwards. I wanna make sure you're falling forward. Abs are engaged, hands touch overhead every time. I want your pinkies to touch the sides of your legs. All right, so. Nice and easy, it's just the warm up. If you're feeling warm already though, if you wanna go for a little bit more speed, that's totally okay. If you wanna go a little bit slower, go right ahead. Again, I want you to modify however you need to. Get ready, we're gonna go into a squat in three, two, and one. So, toes pointing forward. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna stand up from the side, right, right? We're gonna look like this. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna stand up. We got lots of squats coming today, so figure this one out. All right, so again, squat, and down. All right, I want you to try maybe taking your toes off the ground inside your shoes. That's gonna help you focus on that form, right? Make sure those knees don't go forward past the toes. You wanna keep your feet flat on the ground the entire time. Very good. And three, one more, two, and one. Here we go. So we're gonna reach the sky. I want you to walk yourself out into an upper push up plank position. All right, from here, we're gonna go for one push up. Feel free to drop to your knees for the push up if you need. All right, so we go down, we go up, right back to that plank, walk it up, reach the sky, and then we're gonna do it again. All right, so again, crawl out to a plank, one push up, right back up, reach the sky, and do it again. Just keep going, again, at your own pace. If you can go super fast, go super fast. If you need to go a little bit slower, go slower, all right? Get ready, almost there. Give me one or two more good ones. There we go, down, up, get ready. 10 seconds away, we're just gonna hold a plank position on your hands, on your elbows, however you feel. Start to engage the core. Let's get ready in three, two, and one. Here we go, plank position. So in this plank, I want you to focus, make sure your butt isn't too high up in the air. Make sure it's not sagging down, right? You wanna be a flat board. Squeeze, the further away your feet are, the easier it's gonna be. The closer together they are, the easier it's gonna be, or the harder it's gonna be, all right? So, take whatever level you need, hold here, uh, and almost there, almost there. Yeah, if you want, let me rock it forward and back from my advanced out there. Very good, for five, for four, for three, two, and one, and we're gonna flip it around onto our back. We're gonna go for some glute bridges. So, start to warm up the legs, Get the core active as well. So feet are planted onto the ground. Hands are planted into the floor. All right, I'm gonna thrust my pelvis up. Hold for three, for two, and one, and then slow on the way down. Again, go boom, up for one, three second hold at the top, and then slow and controlled on the way down. Anyone really advanced, if you want a little bit more core activation, I want you to try taking your arms straight to the sky. So then the same thing, up for one, three second hold, and slow on the way down. All right, if you wanna make the glutes fire up a little bit more, try taking your toes completely off the floor. We go up for one, three second hold, slow on the way down, almost there. We go about 30 seconds here, so at your own pace, again, up, whatever variation you wanna go for. Again, beginner, intermediate, advanced. This workout's gonna be for everybody out there. Still just warming up that body right now. Almost there. Get ready. We're gonna hold up at the top of that bridge in three, two, and one. So just hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Very nice. Almost there, almost there. And let's just little pulses, little pulses. Pulse it out for 10, for nine, almost there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lay it down. Feet are gonna go straight out. All right, I'm gonna take my arms. Oh, let's move that. Here we go. I'm gonna take my arms straight to the sky. I'm gonna exhale, I'm gonna use that exhale, I'm gonna reach past my toes, I'm gonna to come to a flat back, and I'm gonna fight the fall on the way down as slow as you possibly can. And then again, again, exhale, reach. Come to a flat back, reset everything. 
and then slow and controlled, the slower the better. I promise, the slower the better, right? You're hollowing out that stomach. Very nice. Almost there. We're so close, we're so close. And slow on the way down. Almost there, almost there. Give me two more super, super slow ones. So again, exhale, power on the way up. Come back to that flat back. Slow and controlled as we come down. Slow and controlled, slow and controlled. And then one more time, let's do it. And, and right back up, and again. And perfect, nice and slow. All right, so we're gonna get back up on our feet, grab some water, grab some towel, this would be the point. All right, we're gonna start with that squat. We kind of touched on it in the warm up, but now we're gonna work with a tempo squat. So. Feet are right underneath us, all right? I'm gonna come down nice and slow. I'm gonna go down for four, three, two, one. I'm gonna hold for three, two, and one, and then I'm gonna go up for one. All right, we're gonna work on this for about 60 seconds. All right, we're gonna do a few drills before we get into the hit section, just so we know we have our good form and we're not gonna have any injuries, all right? So let's start with the squat. Let's do it in three, in two, and one, go for it. So again, down nice and slow for four, for three, for two, and one. Hold here for three, for two, and one, and then boom, up for one. Again, from the side, we go down for four, for three, for two, and one. Three second hold, don't forget the hold, don't forget the hold, squeezing the legs, and then boom, up for one. Again, let's go, down for four, three, two, one. Three second hold at the bottom, three, Two, one, ah, 15 seconds left here, then we're gonna speed it up, get ready. Almost there, down for four, three, two, one, three, second hold, three, two, one, boom, and now let's double time, 30 seconds, let's go down and up, down and up. Again, focusing on that form, making sure the knees aren't going forward, keep going on your own, down, up, down, up, almost there, keep it up. Again, if you need to take a second, shake off the legs, whatever you need, that's okay. But then just try and get back in with it and get right back in that squat. Almost there, 10 seconds, almost. In five, four, three, two, and one, perfect. We're gonna stay in the legs. We're gonna go for a reverse lunge. So I want you to come if you have a mat, if wherever you are, you're gonna come to the front of your area, all right? So a reverse lunge means we're gonna step backwards. So we're gonna work that posterior chain here, Chest is gonna stay lifted, abs are working. I'm gonna lunge back. I'm gonna pulse for three, two, one. I'm gonna step up, and then same thing, other side. Let's go, come down, pulse three, two, one, and right back up, keep it going. So again, back, pulse three, two, one. Right back up, other side, and pulse three, two, one. Take your time here. Again, if you need a break, shake it out. I'm all about that. And then just try and get back with us as soon as you can. Lunge it back. Three, two, one, almost there. You know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna start to double time. We're gonna take out the pulses and we're just gonna go for a little bit of speed. All right, if this is a bit too difficult and you have a chair handy, you can also be holding onto a chair and use that to help with the balance. Get ready, let's double time in three, two, and one, go for it. So just step it back and up. Step it back and up. Any of my super advanced out there that are looking for a little bit more, we can make this a plyometric, so we're jumping. Keep going. 15 seconds left here. Then we're gonna give the legs a break. I promise, I promise, I promise. Get ready. In five, four, three, two, and one, nice, shake it off. All right, so we're gonna work on that push-up, all right? I know some people love them, some people hate them, but they're gonna be good for us. So again, we have two options. We can go from our toes or we can go from our knees. So if I'm on my toes, all right, it's a plank position. A push-up is only just a moving plank, all right? So here I am, I'm gonna go down, chest almost to the floor, and then right back up, all right? If you're on your knees, totally okay. Gonna make sure your butt isn't up in the air, right? We don't want that. We wanna stay in that plank position. I go down, I go up. Here we go, let's do it. That same tempo, down for four, up for one. Tempo push up, here we go in three. Here we go in two, and one right away. From my knees, I'm gonna start. So I'm gonna go down for four, for three, 
for two, one, little hold, and then up for one. Oh. Again, down for four, for three, for two, and one little hold, and then right back up. Again, if you're on your toes, same exact concept. Down for four, three, two, one little hold. Oh, one more just like that. Three, two, one, and up for one. Shake it off, All right? I wanna show you one more drill that we're gonna be using in our hit section. So, bicycle crunches, right? Working the core. So here's how it's gonna look. All right, I lay down. I'm gonna look for hands behind my head. The goal is to get my opposite elbow to my opposite knee. All right, so I'm gonna kick that leg out. I'm gonna go up and switch, and switch, and switch. All right, if that's a bit too much, that's okay. We can modify this as well. If you wanna modify, feet are gonna stay on the ground. All right, we're just gonna do one at a time. So it's gonna be a little bit of a crunch bicycle. So I come up. I go right elbow, left knee, right back down, other side, all right? So that's for my beginners out there that are just trying to get that, all right? But then if you can, we are working towards that full extension, just like that. Sweet, I think we got it. We know everything that we're gonna need for the hit section. So here's how this is gonna go. All right, we're gonna have a number of drills. We're gonna start working for 30 seconds and then recovering for 30 seconds. So that's a pretty good deal, right? You work for half the time, half the minute, you get half the minute to break, all right? But as we go, we're gonna go through it, cycle it three, three times. First time is 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of a break. Second time, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of a break. And then the final time we go through it, it's gonna be 50 seconds with only 10 second breaks. We're going a little bit more time under tension, so I promise. If it seems easy the first time around, don't get too comfortable. It'll get a lot, lot steamier. All right, so we're gonna start with the squats. All right, so right away, 30 seconds of squats. My advanced, if you wanna make it more challenging, you can go for a jump, all right? That's totally okay. Even if you wanna start with the jumps and then they kind of get to a point where you can't do it anymore, then you can take out the jump. All right, let's do it. Get ready. So 30 seconds, we go for those squats. Again, I want you to work as hard as you can. It's hit, so it's high intensity. I need you to work hard, and then we recover hard. We work hard, and then we recover. Let's do this. Here we go, just for the 30 seconds of those squats. In three, in two, and one. Let's go, here we go. Now is the real workout. Stay with me. Down and up, down, up. Again, from this side. Whew. Very good. Take breaks when and if you need. If you need to modify, modify. If you're going super slow, that's okay. That's where you are today, but you're still getting your 30 minutes in, right? It's not about how fast you can move, about your form. I want you to stay positive, and it should be fun, really. That's what you're here for. Three, two, one, shake it off. Oh, very good. All right, so now we're gonna go for that. Crawl out with the push-up. So take this break, but just look at what I'm doing. All right, so it's gonna be reach to the sky, walk yourself out, again, Push up, come right back up, reach it up, and then do it again. If you need to modify and go onto your knees for the push up, that's okay. Just come back up onto your toes to walk it out. Let's do it. Here we go in three, in two, and one. Go for it. 30 seconds. I want you to go as fast as you can. Let's go. Walk it out, push it up, walk it back up, roll it up. Again, crawl it back out, push it up, right back up. And again, let's go so I can see it. There we go. All the way out, push it up, right back down. And again, again, feel free to modify. You can always get onto the knees. We're almost there for five, four, three, two, and one, and shake it out. Nice work. All right, 30 seconds. So just slow inhale through the nose, slow exhales through the mouth. Grab some water if you need, some towel, towel off. I'm sure you're sweaty by now. So the next drill we're gonna go for it's a bare plank crawl. So this is gonna work our whole body just to keep our knees off of the floor, all right? So hands are gonna be underneath my shoulders, knees underneath my hips. I'm gonna crawl forward and back. Let's do it, 30 seconds. Here we go. In three, in two, and one, right away. The only thing I ask is just don't put those knees on the ground. All right, so we crawl forward and back. You also wanna focus. You don't want your butt too high up, right? You wanna keep everything aligned. If this seems a little bit too difficult today, then I'm just gonna ask you to just stay in a plank position, all right? That's totally okay, a 30 second plank. You can even do it from your elbows, all right? But if you can, we're gonna go for that bare plank. Crawl, 
Almost there. Nice. For five, four, three, two, one. Oh, very nice. All right, almost there. Almost there. So we're gonna lay down. We're gonna go for those bicycle crunches that we were showing before. So again, let me remind you of the modification you can make. Feet can be flat on the ground. We go opposite elbow to knee, or we go for the full bicycle again, just like that, all right? 30 seconds, then we have that 30 second break. You got this, all right? Stay with me. Here we go, in five, in four, in three, two, and one, go for it. Here we go, nice and easy. Try and make sure that knee and that elbow touch every single time. That way you're really rotating that torso, working the core. Let's see it from the side. Almost there. Oh, halfway there. If you need to take a second, I recommend hugging your knees into your chest and then trying to get right back in as soon as you can for 10. Almost there. Almost there. Not yet. Not yet. In five, in four, three, two, one. Oh, shake it out. Very good. 30 seconds. All right, final one. You knew it was coming. You can't have a full body workout without a good old burpee. All right, high intensity. It's everything you've got. So I'm going to show you the modification. So. Number one, you're gonna start standing. We're just gonna go to a high plank and right back up. You don't even have to jump at the top. All right, for my advanced though, they're looking for that full variation. You're gonna go chest to floor and then give me a little hop at the top. All right, take it as slowly or as fast as you can. Here we go in three, two, one, 30 seconds. Let's go. So again, modify just a half plank and down. Again, down up and up. But if you want to go for that whole chest to floor, go right ahead. And then go as fast as or as slow as you can. Nice work. Keep it up. Keep going. Almost there. Nine seconds. Almost there in five, in four, in three, two, and one. Shake it off. 30 seconds. All right. So we went through the drills. All right. So our first drill was the squats. All right. So we went for the squats. We went for the crawl out with the push-up, we went for the bear plank crawl, and we went for the burpees. All right, so we're gonna do everything again. This time, 40 seconds of work, just 20 second breaks. So our break's a little bit shorter, so keep that in mind, all right? But still want you to go hard for the 40. Here we go, squats in three, two, and one. Go for it, squat down and up, down and up. Again, if you're really looking for that high intensity, I wanna see a plyo, right? I'm jumping up and down every time. Stay with it. Almost there. 15 down right now. You're killing it, you're killing it. Stay with me. Stay with it. Almost there. Again, if it gets too much, shake it out and then get right back in as soon as you can. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, we're 30 down now. We have 10 seconds. Maybe go a little bit faster. Keep going. Almost there. In six, in five, in four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Very good. 20 seconds. All right, that next drill, we're gonna crawl out. We're gonna go for the push up. We're gonna crawl right back up. We've got this. Almost there. Get excited. Here we go in seven. Here we go in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go right away. Crawl it out, push up, crawl right back up, reach it up. Let's go. Take it as slow or as fast as you can. It's all up to you. Come on. But again, the faster you can go, the more high intensity you're gonna make the workout. All the way down, all the way. Let's go. Again, feel free to modify. That modification, again, is from the knees, push up and down, all right? Even if you wanna make it a hand release, you can go all the way down and then come all the way up. All right, just whatever version you're on. Keep going, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, crawl it out, push it up in five, four, get one more in, get one more in, three, two, one, oh. take a breather, 20 seconds. Oh. All right, bear plank crawl, we've got this. So again, this is really working that core. Every muscle in your body helping you get there. Make sure that butt isn't too high up. Let's do it, here we go. In three, in two, and one, go for it right away. Let's go, crawl forward, and crawl back. I don't know about you, but I'm very sweaty. Oh, keep going, keep going. Almost there. That's it, again, that modification, if the crawling is too much, just give me a plank position. That's gonna be very challenging for some of us and that's totally okay. 
maybe from your elbows or your hands. But again, if you can do the crawl, I would love to see it. Keep going. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, almost there. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Shake it off, 20 seconds. <sighs> Bicycle crunches, all right? Bicycle crunches. Again, maybe if you kind of get the hang of it now, maybe try the harder version. Or if you're already at that version, maybe go for a little bit more speed, right? I want you to kind of find ways in this workout of making it more challenging. Here we go in four, three, two, and one. Go for it right away. Come on, elbow to knee, elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Switch, switch, switch. Again, you can go as fast as you want or take it slow. Whatever feels best in your body today. Keep going. Oh. Oh, again, if you need to take a break, hug your knees into your chest, that's totally okay. But then try and get back in within our time. We still have 15 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. Maybe the 10 seconds, we go a little bit faster. Come on, almost. In five, in four, in three, in two, and one. Oh, all right. I know we dread them, the burpees, they're next. But we've got it, we've got it. We have this two versions we can do, remember? We can go to a half burpee, or we go that full variation. I come all the way down, all the way up. 40 seconds, good luck. Here we go, in three, in two, and one. Let's do it right away, come on, 40 seconds. Doesn't have to be super quick, but I do want you to try and make sure you get close to, let's say, five to 10 in, all right, in this 40 seconds. I think there's enough time to definitely get that mini in, my advance, Maybe even 10 plus, really. Keep going. Down, up, let's go. Almost there. Halfway there. Let's go. Chest to floor every time, or again, that half burpee. 10 seconds left here. You can even take out the jump if you have any knee issues, you know, or you just don't wanna jump. Almost there, in three, in two, and one. Oh, okay, one more time through those drills. One more time, this time. 50 seconds, five zero of work, 10 second recovery. All right, so again, gonna be really quick recovery. It's gonna be a tough four minutes. We're gonna get through it, and we're gonna have a little break at the, at the end. All right, here we go. Right away in three, two, one. We go for those squats. Again, my advance. This is the final time. Maybe go for those squat jumps this time. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Almost there, that's it. Again, if you have any knee issues, take it slower. That's okay, all I ask is you work for 50 seconds, right? All of us are working together. We have that little 10 second break, but it's still a break, so look forward to that. Keep going, 20 seconds left, almost there. Keep going, that's it. My super advanced, if you want, maybe see how high you can jump, right? As high as you can, 10 seconds, almost there. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, shake it off. 10 seconds. I wish it was longer, but it's not. We're gonna get right back in. Here we go. Crawl it out, push it up in three, two, and one. Let's go for it right away. So crawl out. And we go for that push up, right back in. If you wanna modify even more, and you're like, you know what? These push ups just are not doing it for me today, just go for the crawl out, right? Crawl out. Crawl up. Still gonna be working that upper body, still working those shoulders and that back, so you can modify that way as well. Let's go. Almost there. Almost. Ugh. Okay, we got 20 seconds. Let's make the most of it. Let's go. Crawl it out. Again, push up from the knees or from the toes. Right back up. Reach to the sky. Right back down. Push it up. Right back down. Reach it up. We have five seconds. Come on, we have time for one more. Push it up. And, and, oh my gosh. We got this. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Get ready. Here we go. Bear plank crawl. Let's do it. In three, two, and one. Okay. See, now my upper body, my shoulders are definitely feeling it now. Crawl it forward. Crawl it back. You've got this again, focusing not let to let that butt go too high up, right? You want that butt down, keep it up, flat back. You should be able to balance a glass of water on that back. 
Perfect. Again, if the crawling becomes too much, just plank it out for me. But if you can, let's do it. It's the final time. 20 seconds left here. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. 10 seconds away. All I ask is just don't put those knees down. Just stay with me a little bit longer, a little bit longer for five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Two more drills, two minutes, that's it, two minutes. I know you can work for two minutes. I'll give you a super long break on the other side. All right, we just had our cool down. We've got this, bicycle crunches. Here we go, in three, two, and one. Let's do it. So right away, come on, bicycle crunch, go. Whew. I hope you all are sweating as much as I am. Let's go. All the way, 15 down already, 15 down. Again, if you need to modify, feet on the floor, hands behind head, opposite knee to opposite elbow, opposite knee to opposite elbow. That's totally okay. Take it at whatever level you're at today. Come on, 20 seconds left. My advance, let's go into super speed. Come on, push it up, elbow to knee. Make sure that they touch. Make sure you're twisting. 10 seconds, almost there, almost there, almost there. In six, in five, in four, in three, Two, one, oh. All right, don't get comfortable. Don't get comfortable. Burpees, we knew they were happening. Let's get it. 50 seconds. I want this to be the most you've done so far. Here we go, three, two, one, go for it. Right away. All the way down and back up. I'll fix that mat. Jump up if you can and let's go. For my super advanced, keep going, but I'm gonna show you an even more advanced. All right, so if you really wanna go for it, add a tug jump at the top. So it's down, it's up, jump up, right back down. Come on, right to the finish line. Go big, all the way there. Keep it up. Come on. If that's too much, the tuck jump, no, that's totally okay. You can modify and still go for that half burpee. Whatever version you're on is perfect, as long as you just keep it up. 15 seconds. Oh, come on. You don't wanna give up in the final 10. We've made it this far. Come on, we're done with this workout. Almost in five, four, three, two, one. Shake it off. Oh, Dubai Fitness Challenge, such good work. Oh, take a breather, grab some water, grab a towel. I'm gonna lead you through a very quick stretch. All right, and then I'll get you on your way. I cannot thank you guys enough for joining me. Again, I hope that you're as sweaty as I am. So let's sit in a child's pose, all right? So sit back on your heels, walk your hands out as far in front of you as you can. If you can, just let your forehead rest on the mat. Big inhale, big exhale. Try and just sink into the mat. Very nice. The further you walk your hands, the more you're gonna stretch those underarms and the sides of the body. Very good. And just hold this for three, two, and one, and come up onto all fours. We're gonna go for a cat-cow stretch. So I'm gonna exhale like there's a string in the middle of my back. Someone's pulling it. I'm gonna go up. Tuck my tailbone under, my head goes down. And then as I inhale, I go for the opposite. So the crown of my head goes to the ceiling, my tailbone goes up, and again, exhale. Inhale, and one more just like that. Exhale, and exhale, inhale. Very nice, and from here, let's just take it up into a low warrior squat. So take a nice wide stance, try and get elbows inside knees, Feet are flat on the ground. Use your elbows to try and push the knees away. Give me a little rock side to side if you can. Very good. And let's reach that left arm up. Using that right elbow for some leverage if you can. For three, two, one, and other side. Reach it up. Three, two, and one. Very good. So try and keep your hands on the floor. You're gonna straighten your legs up. So butt goes to the sky, I'll just go from the side for you. All right, so again, just hanging down. And then I want you to grab your right ankle with both hands. And then reach that right arm up. You can let your eyes follow that hand. Three, two, and one. And right away, other side. So again, left hand, reach it up. I'm looking at the ceiling. Three, two, and one, and down. Just let your body hang here. I just want you to shake it out. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. 
and then little bend in the knees, slowly roll up, one vertebra at a time. Your head's the final thing at the top. Just roll the shoulders back a few times. Very nice. We're gonna take two super big breaths, and then I'm gonna send you guys on your way, all right? So here we go, squat down with me. Here we go, we inhale up for one, inhale up. And we're gonna exhale right down. And now I want this to be the biggest inhale you've taken all day. So big inhale, expand that rib cage, bring all of that air down, come right back down. Give yourselves a round of applause. Seriously, thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Such good work today. Thank you so much for joining me today. And together, we have collected our 30 minutes of activity. All right, remember you guys that the Dubai Fitness Challenge challenges you to collect 30 minutes, and for 30 minutes of activities for 30 days, and you've got this. I know that you do, all right? Don't forget to tag Dubai Fitness Challenge and hashtag Dubai 30 times 30 when sharing your fitness journey, all right? Guys, also remember to follow me, Taylor Walsh 406 on Instagram. I would love to see how you guys do with the workout, contact, whatever you guys need. Thank you all and keep up the good work.